Hey guys, it's Drek. As promised, I'm making a review video for the Airstorm Z-Tech crossbow. I'm starting with the crossbow and not the longbow because I feel like I want to do the longbow review video outside. I'm waiting for when it, the, the weather is a little bit more agreeable. So hopefully tomorrow the forecast is much better and we can do that. But I'm going to do the crossbow inside. I'm going to fire into this window over here. There's realistically like only about 15 feet between me and that window. But the crossbow is claiming shots up to 45 feet. Comes with three bolts. Um, Zing was kind enough to send me extra bolts. So we should be able to take six shots. It's interesting that the bolts are a little different colors. The, uh, the refill bolts are camouflage and the regular bolts are neon orange with orange fins, which is much better for actual war scenarios because it makes them easier to find. On the back here, we have an explanation of the power shot mechanism, which looks to be if you push and hold this button and extend the Z-Tech crossbow, you can load a power shot. It seems to be nothing more than pulling this main body piece apart. This is the button that'll allow you to do that. And the logic there is pretty simple. This is the hook. This is the the uh, the tension source. So the larger this distance is here, the more tension you have applied. Um, so those are the two firing modes. Without any more talking about it, I'm going to find my knife and start attempting to take it out of the package. Probably going to destroy the package in this process, but that's no big deal. We've done it before, we'll do it again. It'd also be nice to not destroy the, uh, the Zingbo. Now I really feel like I'm going to be using the longbow in this war, but I might. This is super awkward. I can't use tension. So we have to like saw it at just a smidgen. But um, I intend to use the longbow in the war just because it claims greater ranges, but if this is super duper comfy, we may wind up carrying it on our back. Um, this is it in its compact mode. This is extended. So we're going to need the uh, the Zarts, I believe they're called, which is a, a tutti fruity way of saying zing darts. And they're more like bolts, I think is the technical term for crossbow ammunition. And we're going to get those out of the package. Try test firing it a couple of times. Alright, so it comes with a target, but targets are silly. If you're going to use a target, you might as well print off a picture of Nicolas Cage. So, the darts themselves have a semi-flexible shaft, and they're made of entirely foam, which is interesting. I'm not sure if they'll stick first without any sort of lubrication or moisture. Alright, so loading this is kind of awkward. Oh no, there we go. The tab is right there. So we will try this. Okay, and that's how that loads. And like I originally suspected, it has, what is this, a safety lock of some sort? There's like a secondary trigger. It might be a trigger guard. Doesn't look like it's attached to anything through the clear plastic. But um, it has a rubber band style gun trigger mechanism here where this pulls this which depresses this and releases so the Z-Tech crossbow without power mode engaged actually has a little bit of punch I'm reasonably impressed by this I thought that this elastic would be much less tough than it is and I'm amazed that the darts okay so you have to click this back before you can fire so it must be engaged somehow but the uh, crossbow is impressing I me mean, just a little more than I thought it would. I think anything that uses like tension power is interesting to me, but the fact that it's it's getting that kind of like there's just no drop between this this 15 foot away uh, door and myself, and so I feel like it's definitely getting the 45 foot range as it claims, if not maybe a little more. We'll try these darts, they feel just the same in every way and this time we will uh, engage our power mode as they call it and there's definitely a lot more tension. We'll try and level the shot off. 
click the safety. And this is kind of cool. It may be worth carrying with us during the, uh, the war after all. One thing I will say is the way that the tension works and the way that the darts have to be gripped by like pinching is kind of a pain to, uh, I guess, load the bolts while it's in its power mode. But it's much easier to do it as a two-stage process. I like this a lot. I think that it's really, really cool. I'm very excited that Zing sent me this and now I'm like all the more pleased to uh, to try out the longbow because if this is claiming 45 and getting this kind of performance, I feel like there's a lot of room for for validity in that other claim. It looks like these will allow you to star store more darts down here. I'm not actually going to tinker with that, but I think that that is the Z-Tech crossbow by Zing Toys, and I think that it's a really interesting product. I know that they're available at Walmart. I haven't seen them much of anywhere else. I think that they might be available at Targets in the States, but um, you should definitely check this out. I think it's really nifty, and I'll get back to you probably tomorrow with the longbow video. As always, thanks for watching.